Here we are going to multiply this out. We have the parentheses, square root of x minus square root of 3, instead of the parentheses, raised to a second power. As we can see, we have a subtraction inside, therefore we cannot just take the power and distribute it into the parentheses. That's a wrong word of operation. This is what we do. This power 2 means we are going to write this down twice, and then we will multiply it out after that. So, I'm going to write this down, open the parentheses first, and then we have the square root of x minus square root of 3. Okay? And then we'll write this down again, so we write it down twice. So, square root of x minus square root of 3, like this. Same thing twice, that's what the second power means. And then, as we can see, we have two terms here times two terms here. Therefore, we are going to draw the arrows and then multiply it out. We take this, times that, square root of x times square root of x. We can multiply the x times the x inside. That will give us x squared, but then we still have to have the square root. Square root of x squared. Well, the second power and the square root cancel each other out. So we just have the x then, right? And in fact, whenever we multiply two square roots, if the insides are the same, you pretty much just cancel out the square root, just like this. Square root of x times square root of x, we just get x. Okay, we continue. We take square root of x times negative square root of 3. Well, we know that it's going to be negative first. And then the x and the 3 are inside of the square root, so we can multiply them together. That will be 3x. And that's still inside of the square root, though. Okay? Then we continue. We take negative square root of 3 times square root of x. That will be another minus square root of 3 times x inside, like this. At the end, we take negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. Negative times negative, that will give us positive. And then square root of 3 times square root of 3, that will just give us 3. Well, that's a quick way to do it, right? Because once again, when we multiply two square roots, if the insides are the same, you pretty much just get the inside only. And if you want to do it a longer way, you look at this as 3 times 3, which is 9, but then instead of the square root, square root of 9 will give you 3, okay? And now, is there anything else that we can do? Here, as we can see, we have a minus square root of, minus square root of 3x, and then we have another minus square root of 3x. So this is like minus 1 square root of 3x, right? And then we have minus another 1 square root of 3x. Therefore, we have a total of minus 2 square root of 3x. Okay, we can combine this and that together. And then the front is the x minus that plus 3. That's all. So if you want to write this down nicely, I think I should do that for you guys. This is x minus 2 square root of 3x plus 3. That will be the answer for this right here. That's it.